हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ जस्ट फॉर माय स्टूडेंट्स कैम्प स्टूडेंट्स एंड सेंशन सी जी एस एस स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग कंटिन्यूंग प्रोफेशनल डेवलपमेंट फॉर इस कॉन बी शॉर्ट वीडियो आई वांट यू टू वॉच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज प्रॉमिस दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग के वाई सी ऑफ एन एंटिटी हाउ एन एंटिटी इज़ ऑन बोर्ड वॉट डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर नीडेड एंड सो ऑन बट वी वॉन्ट टू डू इट इन अ डिफरेंट वे लाइक दैट इज नॉट इट्स नॉट डिस्कस एनी वेयर ओवर द इंटरनेट एंड सो ऑन यू मे नॉट हैव सम आइडिया वॉट और एक्सपोजर टू वॉट वी आर कैन डिस्कस सो आई आई फाउंड आउट दैट हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई द अल्टीमेट बेनिफिशियल ओनर यू नो द इशू विद द के वाई सी इज दैट हाउ डू वी नो दैट द ट्रांसपेरेंसी ऑफ द बेनिफिशियल ओनरशिप इफ स्पेशल इन केस ऑफ सिक्रेसी हैविंस लाइक के एम एन आलन ब्रिटिश वर्जन आलन सो द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द अनरैपिंग ऑफ द बेनिफिशियल ओनरशिप इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so i'm going to it's a two hour training session so we're going to spend initially uh, the the kyc fields what are some necessary kyc fields i have some uh, accumulated some documents that will help you out in knowing the the comprehensiveness list comprehensive list of the documents uh, how we can do the kyc and so on but the important part is that what happens when you have a complex ownership structure where you trying to hide the ownership and you uh, you trying to do money laundering through it so i want to discuss with you illicit international financial flow this terminology uh, been commonly used these days and how money laundering using transfer price, uh, pricing and different transparency measures that are recommended by the financial action task force or a basel committee in order to stop all of those and what happen if your bank is not able to identify the ultimate beneficial owner of an entity during the onboarding phase or during the maintenance of the uh, relationship with the customer uh, of an entity so uh, i've uh, found out a research paper of a few uh, uh, professors in a in italian uni university of leeds and they uh, they shared a really good paper i've been reading it uh, multiple time i want to summarize it for you that what basically they recommended uh, last year this paper was uh, basically published last year so i found it somehow over the internet and i found it uh, uh, when i was researching uh, basically how to do this uh, cpd and make it uh, beneficial for you which is not available things that are not available over the internet so their paper was uh, available somewhere and i'm going to discuss this thing uh spend more time on this that what they have recommended I found really good things that are not available over the internet so we're going to do this uh, it's a two hour training session it's a bit complicated because the hours are uh, a bit different it's going to be at 10 pm your time in us and canada so those in north america it's going to be saturday evening uh, so it's going to be 29th of july for you so uh, other than that those uh, those people in other countries like uh, uh, so it's my majority of my students are in usa canada or india or nigeria uh, so uh, in india it's going to be uh, your morning time early morning time but it's going to be on 30th of july and uh, and those uh, uh, our big countries as well so uh, uh, you have to figure it out your time uh, you have to just convert it from uh, 7 um, 7 am pakistan time to your country you know write your name uh, country name and just google that okay so in nigeria uh, europe uh, you have to wake up at a bit early if you want to attend the session it's going to be 3 am or 4 am your time uh, is specific to your country uh, google that and it's uh, they are uh, those in australia there's going to be uh, afternoon time in uh, on sunday 30th of july so uh, why uh, this is important because of uh, we didn't discuss in detail acams you know test you in detail as well or other uh, you know uh, your uh, examiners do not test you in detail over it so i wanted to for you to know because this uh, we are facing this issue of money laundering using an entity and you want to get some idea about it how this is done uh, important thing is there are 800 uh, students uh, in different uh, my camp students they are from different groups and i'm going to be only be taking 100 uh you know trainees or participants for the group for this training session so the cap limit would be uh, 100 participants i will be sharing the zoom invite link in every group you you know that there are uh, for, uh, 60 70 participant in each group and i have started 14 groups so you have to join live when uh, within a few uh, minutes that i share you the this zoom in, zoom invite link i'm going to be sharing it 5 minutes before uh, what happened with the group uh, 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 cpd3 that uh, uh, there was 100 uh, uh, you know cut off period was 5 minutes so there were only 100 participant was able to join it but not many people knew that there will be 100 participant i want to do it with a few people who are interested in joining want to learn i don't want to uh, attend the, like i did with the cpd2 there were 
175 participants and no, not a uh, few were interested in and they were basically sharing their audio and there was lots of noise i wasn't able to communicate and share my uh, information with the alert investigation like i wanted to so that's why i've uh, did this with the cpd3 continuing professional development 3 and cpd4 i'm going to do the same 100 participants those who are want to join in uh, interested in joining please join and and you have to make sure that when you're joining you're not gonna not gonna leave basically before the uh, two hours training session have uh, complete because zoom app uh, is gonna be recording I will be only be sharing uh, uh, bas this uh, uh, basically uh, the certificate for it who are going to join and gonna be uh, attend the whole session the whole two hour session uh, it's very easy for me to figure it out because zoom app I, i'm a premium member so they basically give me all the details who basically join in at what time and when they basically leave if you're going to join and leave uh, during the training session i'm not going to be you know uh, less than two hours i'm not going to be issuing you the certificate you have to join in on time and you have to leave when i end the training session and of, of course you have to join in with your full name I'm only going to be sh sharing you the uh, certificate with the name, the Zoom ID name that you will be joining in. So did the same thing with the the camps uh, C uh, CPT three where we discussed behavior detection and on how to generate the alerts and so on. I'm going to do the this the same thing this one again uh, 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 like two or three months later. But I wanted to discuss this one. This is very important uh, before we start discussing a, a, another one for the alert investigation i'm going to discuss alert investigation next month and uh, this is uh, what the important one kyc of an entity how it's done and how do we identify ultimate beneficial owner or, or have there been any suggestion in identifying the ultimate beneficial owner other than pandora uh, or uh, uh, you know uh, panama leaks and so on what are the alternative ways that are recommended to identify the ultimate beneficial ownership so see you on uh, uh, on uh, 30th of july for those uh, outside of north america those in north america is going to be your 29th of july saturday evening have a good day take care